We're back at Cabo Caro with Ricardo Caro, and he is doing his beautiful ink painting on the skulls. So let's watch this for a minute. Now he's adding embellishments to the two fish. And you're using a syringe to paint with. Yes, this technique is 100% my idea with the needle. And I make up pre-Hispanic histories. Each line represents something from my culture. Okay. And from Miss Oaxaca, my culture is Zapoteca. Zapoteca. Zapoteca, for example. These two fish mm -hmm. represent abundant work. Okay. And, and Zapoteca culture. That's, I told you, one history. This is a very nice history. This is like a jaguar. Talk with the moon. You see the moon? Okay. And you see the, the moon jaguar. and the jaguar. Yes. And then you have the uh, Dia like de la Morte. Yes, this and is then the king. From in the, the middle is the map of Mexico. Mexico. And this is Quetzalcoatl, the most important king from Mexico. That's protection Mexico. It's like a sneak. Okay. This is the good luck flower for Day of the Dead. Okay. And the metal is look like jinjan. Yeah. But these represent like a heart from the flower. This flower okay. is very important for Day of the Dead because this flower represents a connection with the ancestors. I make one offering on Day of the Dead and this flower is like a connection. Okay. And I I point around the idea for make this one I point around like a 50 skulls. Here is one, there is two a tree and I paint a little bit more and here okay. is the other one and my signature. Let me see, let me turn around this. Oh, okay, the Cabo Caro. Uh, okay, Cabo that's the same Caro. thing that's on your business card. Yes. Now, these, a lot of these lines look like uh, something from Greece. You know, the repetitive the, lines, they lock into each other. Yes. Let me explain. Mm-hmm and paint right now the four elements. Okay. Those represent the water. Like this one. Look like steps. But this is water. Okay. This is fire. This is wind. Wind, okay. And this is earth. Oh. Earth and then more water over top of it. Mm -hmm. A syringe with a needle. And you said these are acrylic paints that you use? This is acrylic painting. And then and the white is oil. I this is a real skull. I fix with organic resin and I paint with oil. This is white okay. is oil. Now the other day we were here and we saw your assistant sanding down these skulls. So it's you don't just take a raw skull, you really work on it before you start the actual art piece. All right. Okay. I have one question. I have another question. Why is here Ponera like Mitla? Mitla is the name of the dead city. It's the most important for this the king. Dead city? Oh, the dead city. related to the day of the dead. Yes, this is Mitlantecutli. He's the king from the dead. Oh. This king protection your life with one candle. If you candle have like fire, mm -hmm. you have like life. If you candle not have fire, you go on the next, uh, like a next trip, like next steps for the life. Okay, and now here you have a big leaf. Yes, this leaf represent a, like, like a leaf. Like a life? A life, a real okay. life. And what is this circular design here? It's with elements, you see? Earth, 
spider or fire. Okay. It's just for decoration, but with elements. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for explaining it all. Okay. Thank you, Ricardo. It was very nice to meet you. I have to take another look at this skull that you finished that I saw the other week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 